Hey, what's going on? Zach Zeller, America's number one practical nutrition coach. And this morning, it's election day, so it's gonna be crazy. It's the event that not just America's been watching, but the world's been watching. And I'm not gonna talk to you about Hillary and Trump. I'm actually gonna tell you the one thing they both do that will accelerate, just crush all you want for weight loss, for building muscle, for anything in life. Um, so what is that thing? Well, if you look at them on the stage, I mean, this election has been crazy with all the, the stories, the scandals, the different things that come out. But everything that comes out has not knocked these candidates out of the race. I mean, could you imagine running a race and, you know, a soundbite comes out of you talking about, you know, grabbing people or something like that? Um, you know, you might end up going out of the race and people would understand that it would be okay but no you these candidates kept plowing through despite FBI pressure despite internet memes despite everything they kept going and now we will see how that turns out what they're doing it's called state control you see everyone kind of has this this bubble around them you might call it an aura you might call it a bubble you might call it willpower uh, basically what it does is it separates you from the outside world so that other people can't affect you as much so that events that happen can't affect you as much and I'm not saying in a, in a stoic sense that you just don't have you don't enjoy life or you don't get relationships with people um, it's just that they can't make you feel bad about yourself because really no one has permission to make you feel bad about yourself um, and the top people, these candidates know it, you know, top businessmen like Elon Musk, they know it. Um, and basically what it comes down to is that if you haven't perfected that, it's fine. It happens. Everyone's kind of on this journey, but what happens is if your bubble isn't strong, you have some people like energy vampires, time vampires, people that can come in and, they basically take away some of your energy, some of your, your happiness. Uh, it could happen with events too. Like if you get in a car accident, it could you know make you upset, your car gets messed up, you owe people money, whatever happens. Uh, different things go on through life. But there's also been cases where, let's say you see someone gets in a car accident and they could be crippled for life. You know, on one hand, that happens to one person and they go and end up, you know, living life in a wheelchair, eating whatever they want, doing whatever they do, um, and they live more of a sad life. On the other hand, you could have someone who sees this as an amazing blessing and an opportunity to continue living and goes from that wheelchair to be, you know, I've seen on the internet like professional bodybuilders from a wheelchair, could start his own business, become a millionaire. You know, it really depends on how you see these things. So. I'm gonna give you three steps on how to increase that strength of your bubble, get that state control, so that all this, the junk and the randomness and everything that happens outside in life doesn't have to affect you so much and you don't have to go and uh, feel drained of energy, feel like you need to eat comfort food, feel like you need to just sit in front of the TV and chill. Um, so here are these three things. First is gonna be flipping the script. And that's going to be, again, like with the car accident example, you could see it as a terrible accident or a great blessing giving you a new lease on life. There's always multiple ways of seeing something that happens to you. And when you choose the more positive one, it doesn't matter if you choose the more positive or negative one because the event still happened. You're just trying to rationalize it. So if you always choose the more positive rationalization, then A, you're not making the event any worse and B, you're putting yourself up better. So after you flip the script, I want you to slow down. Because again, there's a lot of these events that happen and as you go through your day, you make snap decisions, snap judgments, snap readings. And a lot of time that's good so you don't have to think out everything, but if you take this for granted, you could end up be causing yourself more stress that you automatically assign labels to different things that 
build up your stress. So let's say um, you you hate working late and you have to work late because you have a deadline to do and it stresses you out. So you get like the greasiest Chinese food you can to make yourself feel better. Now that's a snap thing. You just got to slow down and say, you know, I got to work late tonight, but you know, it's only once a month or something. Uh, it's not that bad. It gives you a new environment to hang out with, a new vibe. You see different people. There can always be positive spins to put on negative events. And then uh, lastly, you want to build up and challenge yourself with some tough events. So I know, for example, that if I um, drop a glass and get glass everywhere and you know, people are freaking out because there's glass and there's, you know, like water everywhere seeping under the fridge, getting on the, the wooden cabinets, whatever it is. Uh, you know, the dogs like looking at the glass, like she's gonna lick it or something and it's a whole terrible situation. Um, I know it's not that bad. I mean, I, uh, for me, one of the things that I think about is Spartan Race that I ran over the summer. It was probably one of the toughest things I've ever done. Just 10 miles uh, up and down these hills in the ski, res the ski resort um, in the summer, so it was terrible. But I made it through and I finished. It took me six hours, but I got through. And so if I could do six hours with, you know, I didn't have my own water, I had to wait for the rest stations, I had to, you know, run, carry stuff, climb, move. If I could get through that, I could understand that, you know, it's a spill. I'll put the dog in the crate, I'll pick up the glass, I'll mop up the water, I'll buy a new glass, whatever it is. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's no reason for me to feel um, bad about myself, for me to feel scared, for me to feel stressed out. It happens. It's life. So I want you to take these steps and improve your state control and see all the fantastic things it does for you. So once again, I'm Zach Zeller, uh, just like a bum from dailynutritionhq.com. If you uh, like this video, then subscribe to find out when I come out with more. Peace.